Island vibes coming at you. Okay, meanwhile, Kieran's putting on the head sail. I'm gonna make lunch. That is where we're going. I've got master helmsman on the helm. How are you going there? It's a beautiful thing. Hola. Hi. You ready? Hey, how's it going? Mr. Kieran Captain uh, Weiss. Mr. Kieran Captain Weiss. <laughs> you know my middle name was Captain, but I'll take it. Thank you very much, Isabel Crew Knee. What are we doing, Kieran? We are leaving Cartagena. We got a little comfortable here, and now we're finally pushing ourselves out of here. We met some brilliant new friends called Magnus and Sandra. Just over there. They're a really, really cool Swedish couple, mm -hmm. um, and you've been. You've been happy to talk your Swedish language. Yeah, it has been really, really nice. They're like-minded people. Mm -hmm. We have had so much fun just exploring Karina and the old city was phenomenal. Wasn't phenomenal. It? phenomenal, what a word. Phenomenal, I like it. Um, so today we're just sailing to a little island off Cartagena. It's only about four hours away, mm -hmm. but we are itching to go for a swim. Oh, yeah. We have not gone for a swim in about six or seven weeks. I think it's more than that, isn't it? We didn't go in Santa Marta either. Yeah, so the last time we went for a swim was Car Curacao. Klein Curacao. Klein Curacao. This is just not right. The water here is greenish and it's it's not clear. It's not inviting. No, let's just put it like that. It's not sending out any invitations <laughs> no, whatsoever. No. So, yeah, we really, really want to go for a swim and just get in that blue water. Island vibes coming at you. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's get there. Okay. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell to keep up with everything that we're doing. I'm gonna make lunch. I already prepared some veggies here and I got a little sneaky sneaky. It's not gonna look so great. But I bought these vegan patties. Um, just because it's so cheap here and yeah, really, really amazing. Lunch is served, love. That looks fantastic, babe. <laughs> that looks absolutely unreal. Okay, so while we've been here in Cartagena, we have purchased a secondhand spinnaker and a spinnaker pole. So today, 
Uh, we, we hoisted it the other day just to have a look and it looks great. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful. So much colour, eh? As Isabel says, it looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, and today we are hoping to sail somewhat downwind and the conditions look perfect. Probably somewhere between 8 and 14 knots. Mm. So I think it's perfect for a, a spinnaker. It'll be our first time flying a spinnaker, so it should be quite interesting to see there we go, fingers crossed we still have it after this sail. <laughs> um, we do have Magnus and Sandra behind us. If it does drop in the water, they've promised to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be interesting. Mm. We, uh, we cannot use a spinnaker pole just yet. We need a special attachment to attach it to the mast. So today we will just be trying to fly a symmetrical spinnaker without a spinnaker pole. And I've been told it's quite hard and it's not the proper way to do it. But we feel like we feel like we can manage it, especially if the winds are nice and light. I think uh, I think it'd be nice and quick to try. Mm -hmm. Cartagena has two entrances: one for large vessels and one for small vessels. And they have actually many moons ago. I will find out the history behind this for you guys, and I'll get back to you as a voiceover right after this. But they have a sea wall that they built along the bottom of the entrance to this harbour so no large vessels could get in and therefore the harbour was more protected. If you're a large vessel you have to go about another I think 10 miles that way to go to get into the, uh, the harbour. So it's kind of like a defence mechanism because Cartagena is one of the most prized ports there is around the Caribbean so everybody wanted it back in the day. I gotta be really careful, it goes down to three meters through this uh, through this channel, it goes down to three meters. So we are doing it under sail. Um, and I might get Isabel to it release, release the main this. sheet and let us go a bit slower. Uh. In 1778, construction was completed on an underwater seawall that connected Boca Grande to Terrabomba. It was composed of three rows of large baskets that formed a bed of sand on top of which stone was placed, impeding the passage of ships. Today, it still stands with only a 25 meter gap in the middle for vessels with a draft of less than three meters to pass. So I went down to 5.6 meters. I think when we were entering it came, I think it went down to about three? four or three. Yeah. I think we're at high tide right about now, which is actually clever, a clever mistake I may have made. Okay. How are we Isabel? Not so good. Uh, we haven't been sailing in a while. I don't know. I feel my seasickness coming back. And not loving life right now. So is it because we haven't gone for a sail in a while or is it because we had a bit of a big night last night? Both. We had a couple of drinks at our friend's house. So yeah, the combination of the two, I think. How are you feeling, Kieran? Feeling great. Yeah? Yeah. Did you new hat on? Yeah, we got a, we got a new cap. It's cheap. Couldn't say no. <laughs> but we have a brilliant, I think, 15, maybe even 16 knots from behind us. We are traveling at 120 and we're almost heading in the direction of our destination, but not precisely. But that's alright. And our pals are just over there. And our pals are, uh, where are our pals? I'll show you our pals. And that's Libra right there. Someone's excited. See how this goes. If it doesn't work out, we'll just pack it away. Just feels like crap. What feels like crap? No, you're right. <laughs> I really want to try this vinegar as well. It looks beautiful. We've just seen a bit of it. I haven't flown it yet. But when you're seasick and you just want to go downstairs and lay down. Uh, my excitement for the spinnaker is not really there, and ah, uh, really don't want to be seasick. It's really, really just 
taking its toll on me. Um, I even took a pill just then. A French pill from Martinique. Um, all natural stuff. Um, it worked for me before. I don't know where it is now. I even sat down there close to the water. So that usually helps, but not this time. morning uh, the last footage you would have seen is us failing to put a spinnaker up yes that was a shocking shocking attempt Isabel was a little bit seasick um, the wind was actually around 15 knots and as for the first time it was a bit strong for for putting it up um, and I was, wasn't very confident and I tried to put it up and I kind of nodded the spinnaker around itself and the sun was setting and I had decided to abandon the idea. Um, better to save it for a calm day rather than lose a spinnaker off in 15 knots and not get it back and yeah, waste of spinnaker and money. So anyway, um, that was a fail yesterday. We're going to try that another time. And this morning we are, we've put an anchor down in Rosario's which is a beautiful little chain of islands just south of Cartagena. Um, we are in a very calm anchorage. We've had probably one of the best sleeps we've had in a long time last night. And we went for a swim. Oh, oh, and we're about to go for another swim right now. Our friends Magnus and Sandra are in the water right now. We're just going to catch them up. I'm going to put the GoPro on. Uh, there's a few little reefs right in front of us, so we're going to go check them out. And I just put the drone up, so you should be seeing that footage of Rosario's right now. great it feels to be able to swim in the water again it's just <laughs> such a relief it's it sounds kind of strange because we are living on our sailboat and uh, we can just well literally jump in whenever we want but in the anchorage we have been uh, lately it has been um, super murky and not really friendly to jump in and just enjoy so yeah it just feels great That is where we're going. Okay, so there is a tiny little island here in the Rosarios. I'm gonna find out the name of it. I just Google maps it, it looks unreal. It's got this little beach on it. Uh, we should have it to ourselves, hopefully, fingers crossed. There's not too many boat tours, but it is, it's, uh, it's right there. Hey, I'm getting better at this thing. It's hard to do this. <laughs> okay, uh, so this little island is gonna be awesome. Isabel's just laughing at me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at, hey? My captain's quite special. Okay, so the Azarios have a bunch of reefs you got to look out for. So I've got master helmsman on the helm, a young Miss Isabel Knee. 
How are you going there, beautiful thing? Hola, amigo, como estas? It's a new bikini, I think, isn't it? I got it from uh, my friend Sandra. You, you, like, you like it? Do you like it? I like it. <laughs> I love it. Show me the reefs you're dodging. We got some reefs here. Oh mm, man. We just came out of this place. So, oh man. Yeah. Feels like being back in Sweden. Lucky I've got you on the job. Lucky I've got this thing on the job. Woo! So I'm just in the middle of cooking lunch for us right now. We are motoring, sadly, because there's not a lot of wind. So there's other beautiful anchorage. And I just thought I'll show you a little bit of well, basically what we're going to have for lunch. Spring onion, garlic, and zucchini. And here is just some cabbage, uh, some lime juice I'm going to put in, some mushrooms, and... Oh my god, if you're like me and love herbs, I was ecstatic of finding this particular herb, coriander. Oh, just makes every dish so much better. I haven't had coriander since, I can't remember when, like a year ago. And I'm someone who can eat it several, several um, times in the week. So super stoked about that. The other thing I found, miso. And it is so yummy. So I'm about to prepare this food right now. It's going to be some glass noodles and veggie something with miso cook up. Uh, I'll show you the result later on. And this is the result. Let's see if he likes it. Oh hey, whoa! Whoa ho ho! What have we got here? It's a Asian um, stir fried miso me Bob in uh, the Caribbean. Thank you. Thank you so much. It looks amazing. Mm. Look at that artistic. Oh, look at these greens. Oof. G'day and hello. It's the same, but no. different. <laughs> Hi. Hey guys. How are you uh, going? You. How am I going? Yeah. I'm going very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, we have put down anchor in some very shallow water. We're in two meters of depth, and we basically bottom out at two meters. <laughs> So, so we're lucky not to be hitting the bottom. Hopefully it's uh, not high tide. Yeah. No. We're um, just staying here for a couple of hours anyway. So. so we have come to this little beach called, well, little island called Island Arenas in the Rosarios just south of Cartagena and Colombia. It is looking quite nice, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. A nice little beach we're going to go check out. Um, you can probably walk around the island in about... 15 minutes tops. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, they got a beach and some some reefs around, so we're gonna snorkel and play on the beach, play on the beach, and our friends, you can see them. Hey, here they are. Hey guys. Hi. You ready? <laughs> that, that works really well, that looks awesome. Yeah. Taking your fins in. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. might be some nice spots on there. Yeah. You're just trailing a rope out the back, you know that? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll grab All right, let's go. Dinghy. Let's do it.
After spending only 30 minutes on land, we were informed that the island is completely private and because we weren't part of a boat tour, we had to leave. It was a shame, but not the first time we had experienced this. Changing our plans for the better, we made a decision to sail to the Sandblast Islands that afternoon. Tune in next week as we fight the current and sleep deprivation to make it to paradise.